What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you an update on the spicy ramen quest and before anyone gets butt hurt people I mean I pronounce it ramen I know some people pronounce it ramen it is pronounced ramen and I have all my pals laughing at me for saying ramen too it's no biggie if I can make you laugh when watching my videos points to me now if you get butt hurt like many people did on yesterday's video please go outside I know it's pronounced I know it's pronounced ramen I just like to say ramen simple as that okay Okay, so with this spicy ramen quest, it arrived yesterday, everybody was on it, trying to figure out all kinds of things, and nothing worked. Nothing was working at all. Today, people, I believe I have the answer to this mystery. But before we go any further, people, a few sexy bastards would like to support me and the channel. Hitting that like button truly helps out, and subscribing in prep for the Forsaken is wise, as I'm going to be on it like no other YouTuber. You mark my words, people. Okay, so the spicy ramen coupon. What did people try trying to solve this? Well, almost everything. Things like dismantling the coupon, running the nightfall with it in your inventory, running all the raids, doing the Titan's flashpoint, collecting all of Cade's chests, dancing in front of Cade with the ramen emote and emblem on, all kinds of things and nothing worked, people. Bungie then kind of made a statement on the interwebs on a little place called Twitter saying there was basically no second step to this quest. Now how long have we been playing Destiny? From the very beginning of D1's beta, most of us have been. How many times has Bungie lied about silly little things like this? Quite a few actually. Remember the box of raisins, which were confirmed by Bungie to be nothing but a troll? They then become Ascendant a few months, could have been a year later, I'm not sure. But they became Ascendant, and I believe they rewarded you something, could have been shaders, but I ain't sure. But he definitely got something for keeping them. But that's just one demo of Bungie's filthy lying past. Now most people think they are lying too here and part 2 will come at either reset time today, a weekly reset next week or with the Forsaken DLC. Me personally, I don't believe Bungie are trolling here. I think there isn't actually a step 2 to this quest. I actually believe something even simpler is going to happen. Now this initial info was given to me by my pal and I've just uh, added towards it and it's kind of crazy because nowadays smaller YouTubers get used without recognition on a daily basis by bigger YouTubers. They see their content, make their own and claim it to be their own news. I'm different there people, I will give credit where it is due and deserved. My pal Model Life Crisis in my opinion has cracked this mystery. Crazy as all the biggest content creators out there are stuck and some small British dude has cracked it. So if you guys would like to go and show My Life Crisis some love and help him reach 3000 subs, his channel can be found linked within the video description. He is normally the first with news and leaks so it's definitely worth your time checking out. Ok so the spicy ramen coupon, what is it for? Now like Bungie say, the next part of the quest isn't actually existent, it's a non-existent step 2. I believe that, but I also believe it isn't a troll on Bungie's behalf. This coupon will eventually be redeemable and I think that will happen when the Forsaken drops after Cade's dead and buried. Actually, do they even bury Exos or do they take them to the scrapyard? I have no idea. Well, after Cade's done and dusted, I believe we will be able to cash this coupon in in remembrance to Cade 6. And here is why I think this. There is an emote in the game right now, the spicy ramen emote. This was a season 1 emote not available in the game right now, so you can't get it to drop. So unless you had this in season 1, you can't get it again. Well, this is where it gets interesting people, if we go to any Destiny 2 database on the World Wide Web and search ramen, for some reason two exotic emotes pop up, which hasn't always been the case. This emote was added when this quest was added to the database. If you go back and watch all the videos of people talking about this quest when it was first discovered, you will see the emote arrive then too, but no one picked up on it. Also, if you click on the emotes within the database, we see this one was added in Season 1, and we see the second version of the exotic emote was added in Season 3. So why are there two emotes? Well, this emote along with this legendary emblem, the spicy Raymond coupon emblem, which was also added at the time of the quest, these will be the rewards redeeming the spicy ramen coupon and it's these in which we will be able to remember Cade by. I mean the second spicy ramen emote could indeed be slightly different for sure but even if that isn't the case and this emote is glitched and it isn't rewarded I definitely believe the spicy ramen emblem will be. I mean they were added to the database when this quest was both the exotic emote and the emblem. 
I mean, what are the odds of these not being the rewards for this coupon? I mean, it makes more sense that they are than they ain't, in my opinion. But yeah, people, it's for these reasons, I believe we have solved the mystery of reward for the spicy ramen coupon. Now, like I said, these rewards may not be given out until Kade's death, which is after the Forsaken is released, if they are supposed to be for us to remember him by. I mean, that would make sense for sure. But they could come later today with the reset. They could come next week at the weekly reset. Who knows, people? Who knows? And it is, guys, as simple as that. These will be the rewards to remember him by, I am pretty sure. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, leaving a like really does help me out. Also, people, before we go, every single month, I give away a fully customizable controller. To be with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. The controller can be for either Xbox or PlayStation, and it can be sent anywhere in the world, so it doesn't matter where you enter from. Just follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description, people. Drop a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed to to the channel good luck to everybody who enters but on that note guys i am out thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one Get around.